Hey everyone! This video is going to be about some new props. I'm first going to show you some DIY <clears throat> props I made and then a couple of fun finds I had this week. I was planning on recording uh, you know a tutorial type video for different um, uh, you know prop things I made. You know what I just I do not have time to record making something. So anyways, I figured what I'm going to do is I'm going to just show some stuff that I've worked on this week and then I decided to get all fancy, like hello, and start a blog. This is big. Um, just like these videos, I have no idea if anyone will read the blog. But I figured I'll show some stuff on the YouTube videos and then I'll have pictures and directions and all of that stuff on the blog that is not done and I am not going to give you the website until it's done. So who knows how long that will be. Anyways, so a couple of things I want to show you. Um, I, I find that I have, like I'm more energetic when I'm holding something, even if it's, you know, not necessary necessarily. Um, it's just fun. And I'm sure that if it's fun for me, it's fun for them. Just like with my regular, you know, school kids. Um, they like seeing stuff. So a lot of these props that I've made aren't really not even teaching necessarily. Well, you'll see what I mean. Okay. So, um, each one has come up when I've had a lesson. So as the lessons, you know, as I see more and more of the lessons, uh, more and more of these things will come up. But the first one I want to show you is the one that comes up more often, at least in the beginning, especially when you're doing trials and the younger groups, is the birthday theme. Birthday theme is seems to be everywhere. And I have a couple of different things I use for that, but the one I could not find was a pretty cake, like a little cake. And I and I even had my mom in California going to the teacher store there and like the different toy stores to try to find a little pl fake cake. Okay, please do not put in the comments where you found this awesome fake cake because then I will be very frustrated <laughs> that I searched and searched and couldn't find one. Um, so I guess I could get on some, anything on Amazon. But anyways, the point is I decided to make one with foam so that at least I can have something to hold up. I have the birthday cake, uh, you know, design. I've got the candle because we talk about that. And that way I can hold it when I want. I can take a bite out of it, whatever. And I have a cake. It's easily accessible. I don't have to actually like, it's not bulky, just sticks in my little thing. Okay, so the birthday cake, again, foam. I love foam. I am in love with foam. And it is maybe a little, it's pretty nerdy. Um, yeah, it's pretty nerdy. My husband uh, lets me know how nerdy it, it is, my affection for foam. Um, but Anyway, made out of foam. Boing. Okay. Uh, another one I made was a lot of the songs, um, or a lot of the lessons, the Baba Black Sheep song has come up. And each time I've sung, I thought, I want to, I wish I had a little black sheep to hold up. Well, I I'm not going to go searching and spend money on a black sheep doll just for, or stuffed animal, just for that song. So anyway, I went ahead and just made myself a black sheep out of foam. This took about... I don't know, half an hour maybe. Um, I just cut all the foam pieces out again, foam. And then um, I got my googly eyes, which, you know, are very important. And um, to try to conceal some of the stick, I put a little bit of grass. It's kind of a mess. I'm a very messy crafter. Um, I don't care. Uh, I'm going to do whatever does it whatever makes it secure. I don't care how it looks on the back. So it's a, it's a mess on the back. Hello. You know, I got, I get a little happy with the glue, <laughs> with the hot glue gun, but I'd rather do that than, you know, fix it later. I mean, glue sticks are cheap. Okay. So there's that. Then I'm working on the collection of the little monstery things or aliens or whatever they're called. Here's pink ball. I think this is his name. Her name. No. Who is this? I don't know. Anyways. Um, this is fun because when they're uh, a lot of the times in the conversations, you know, in the dialogue, um, there's, uh, what do you call those boxes? Conversation box thingies, you know, bubbles or whatever. Anyways, and so he can be whatever, and then it's kind of funny, like, boop, boop, 
you know, that kind of, I don't know. Okay, so there's this one. Okay. And I, 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 I consider just printing out color, um, you know, blowing up the thing and printing it out in color, but I figured this really is more durable because it's foam. Um, and um, I don't have a color printer and whatever. Um, so there's that. Then this is the green, it's this little green, I think, green alien thing. So he's in it a lot too. And uh, you, you can find all kinds of uses for, whoop, you know, green. And then he can talk and he can fly around. And so this is foam um, and a bunch of individual pieces all foamed together. Okay, so there's that. And then um, I have an ear. And one of the, all the lessons about colors and that kind of thing. Colors, wow, you color, ooh, okay. Colors, all foam. Love me some foam. Um, what was the other ones? Oh, I have a bunch, but I can't, I should have gotten them all out. I can't remember. Anyway, oh, I also made some, I've showed you before, whoops, excuse me, the um, greater than, less than sign, croc alligator, yeah. Um, I also just made simple plus sign, minus sign, um, and these are magnets, um, the equals and not equals. Okay, so these are just magnets that I can slap on the whiteboard. Uh, so some are on sticks, some are on magnets, depends on what I normally do with the props. Uh, okay, so I think that's really it for what I wanted to show what I made this week. There's other stuff, um, but like I said, I don't know. I feel like I had other stuff to show you, but anyways, so what I'm going to do is put, um, oh, I know what I did. I made a couple of new reward systems with magnets and foam and painted the, um, uh, those dollar store, uh, baking sheets. So I have some fun stuff going on with all of that, but I'm not ready for any of that yet as far as putting it up anywhere. So the second half of this video is not on, well, okay. So those were like DIY, right? You do everything yourself. You start with some foam. You do the whole thing. Well, the uh, second set is semi-DIY because I got the basics at the dollar store. And if you've done a lot of the lessons so far, a lot of them are on home, furniture, that kind of thing. And so I went to the dollar store and they had all of these wooden doll furnitures. And not, it was all just the plain wood, you know, the raw wood. Um, and it's you know, uh, there was a couple of, you know, it was a little wiggly, so I reinforced, as you can see in there, see how messy it is? Don't care. Uh, reinforced it with some glue. As long as the part you see looks decent, that's all I care about. It's kind of hard to, it looks prettier in real life than it does in the screen. Anyway, so here's a chair. Let's say chair is a big one always in the thing. Chair. Okay. There's table. Okay, so again, I've painted all of these, so that's why I call it semi-DIY, because I did something. I painted them. Um, in fact, a couple of days ago was my birthday, and my girlfriend offered to take my kids so my husband and I could have the whole day together. Instead of going out to a fancy dinner and to a movie and whatever else normal couples would do, um, we rented some movies, and I sat at the coffee table with all of my craft paints and all of my doll furniture, and for three hours, I just painted doll furniture, and my husband's happy because he loves sitting on the couch watching movies, and but he didn't hesitate to tell me how you know, nerdy that was also, but that's okay, you know, he loves me. Uh, also, a bed, okay, bed is in that a lot, okay, so what I did with the bed was, um, it, the, the bed itself came like this, it had some, a little piece of fabric I tore off, and then I actually just used, um, what do you think? foam. And then I actually use just paints, craft paints to paint the little scallops. So it looks like a bedspread. And then I was going to stick some like puffy under there. I thought, you know what? That's, that's a bit much. Um, you know, that's, 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 that's overboard. Um, anyway, they also had a dresser. So I sort of have, man, my paint job in the, in the camera looks so much worse than in real life. So dresser on the front, what I'm going to do is paint the haven't done it yet, but I'm going to paint the armoire, or not the armoire, the wardrobe sort of thing on the back so that I can, it can be a wardrobe, it can be a dresser. Dresser hasn't come up yet. Maybe I just haven't taught that lesson yet, but wardrobe. Um, and then I'm using this as desk. Okay, so, geez, again, um, this was all just wood stuff, and it's 
you know, you know, you, you could step on it, it would break in a million pieces, but as long as you're not being rough with it, it's perfectly decent. Uh, so pretty fun find, if you ask me. Okay, so that's my semi-DIY. Now, some of the things I found that I love, okay, I discovered that at the dollar store, or any store really, the dog toy section has stuff that you cannot get in the regular section, or at least not for cheap. So at the dollar store, I found a dog toy, so it squeaks. <coughs> you don't, oh, I hate that noise. I have a puppy. I hate that noise. Um, anyways, it's an ice cream cone. It's from the dollar store. It's from the toy section. I'm for not from the toy section. I couldn't find anything like this from the toy section. This is from, it's a dog toy. Also, my hamburger. Okay. Now, I have, um, you know, a bucket full of food. Um, and a lot of it's stuff that, you know, my kids have had since who even knows what. I mean, look, who has a scram? I mean, how cool is a scrambled egg? Anyways, so I've got all the regular food that has, like, from food sets. But I realized, dude, I can add to my collection with dog toys. Just don't squeeze them. Okay, so that's the dog toys. Um, the other thing I found... Oh, okay. This isn't this week I have found, but I've... Um, my parents have had this forever. And we have a huge dress-up box at my parents' house because of all the grandkids. This is in it. She sent this to me. It's a birthday cake hat. So, yeah, I don't know where she got it from. We've had it forever. But can I just say, this is one of the best props ever. Because, like I said, the birthday thing is always coming up. And, yeah. How can you not love this? This is fantastic. Okay. So, there's that. And then the, um, let's see. Oh, the last thing I think, I'm trying to look, make sure. I've, the last thing I wanted to show you was, and we all know that the dollar store, come on. It's about the worst quality products ever. And, but it suits the needs for some things, okay? Um, but uh, even if you're careful, some things really aren't worth even spending a dollar on. I want to show you one of those things. The tambourine. I'm, it wasn't like I was like, yeah, yeah. I mean, I wasn't doing that. I was just probably the third time I used it um, and literally... <laughs> In the middle of a class, and I, whatever, but whatever it was we were singing, and one of them, <laughs> one of these went flying off, and then I couldn't figure out how they were attached. Then I realized, where's that little? Then I realized I was trying to figure out how they were attached so I could maybe repair it. Then I realized it's attached by this teeny little, like little needle thing in there. See that? Which I figured that out because I stepped on it, and my toe was bleeding, and so this. This, I would say, because it all cracked in there, so I'm like, well, I could reinforce it with glue, mm, you know. Um, this would not be worth a dollar and a bloody toe, so I would avoid this at the dollar store. That's all I have for right now. Um, oh, I also did have this little, we, a lot of the lessons talk about home, house, blah, blah, blah. I did make a little house uh, with wood, paint, foam. Uh, I can talk about that one later, so. I will let you know when I have a blog up that actually has pictures and I'm hoping to get templates and tutorials and stuff. And this is the, the, the nerd, the geek in me has been crafting since I was like five and it never really has had much of a purpose. You know, I wasn't good enough at it to sell things or anything. Um, but this has given me like such purpose in, in being able to do crafts. And feel like I'm not doing crafts because I'm a nerd. I'm doing crafts because I am like doing it for the sake of my students. And I found that, you know, it's fun how the kids join in. And that way we're having some quality um, mom children time. So uh, I will keep you posted on that. And I hope that gave you some ideas. I don't know. Okay. <laughs> Bye till next time.